Hey guys, welcome to Take It Easy. Xiaomi released their new budget smartphone Redmi 5A in India and named it Deshka Smartphone. So this smartphone is still very fresh. It was just launched on 7th December. So now let's talk about this device that has the potential to kill all those budget friendly smartphones out there. The price is really very competitive, just 5000 Indian rupees or 80 US dollars. According to the sources, the price will increase. It will be 6000 Indian rupees after the first 5 million phones are sold. This is the nice looking red colored package of Redmi 5A. Let's cut the seal open. Let's open the package and at the very top this is our Redmi 5A. Let's keep it aside for the time being and let's check out the other contents of the package and at the top these are the documentations which no one seems to read these days. Next there is a standard micro USB cable in black color and there is the SIM ejector pin, a standard one, nothing fancy. There are no earphones inside the package like all other budget Xiaomi phones and this is the power adapter. The output is 5V and 1A. Ok now let's take a look at the phone itself. It's a 5 inch screen with 720p HD resolution and at the right side at the top there are volume rockers and at the bottom there is the power button. At the top of the phone there is a noise cancelling microphone and a IR blaster. 3.5mm audio jack is there. At the back this is the 13 megapixels camera along with a LED flash and the antenna band is visible. The back has a kind of metallic look but it is of course plastic and at the bottom there is a micro usb port and the primary microphone hole the loudspeaker mesh is there with a small indentation to prevent the sound from getting muffled so at the left side of the phone we can see that there is a dedicated dual sim slot and a dedicated micro sd card slot as well which is a great thing xiaomi has done so now let's boot up the device so this is the usual me UI and I have already completed the setup. So there are lots of pre-installed apps and some bloatwares as well. Let me see whether we can uninstall the bloatwares. And yes, we can uninstall the bloatwares, which is again a good thing. And also there are some Microsoft bundled apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook and Skype Lite. And there are Google apps and of course they cannot be uninstalled. Let's check the settings and the about phone section and here we can see that the model number is Redmi 5A and the Android version is 7.1.2 Nougat. The MIUI version is 9.1 stable and the CPU is Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.4 GHz. It has 2 GB of RAM and out of the 16 GB internal storage it has 8.8 GB free. And you can also update your MIUI version. So let's take a look at the Mi Remote app. You can add a device like a TV or a set top box or AC or fan or anything else that, that has a IR remote. And there is a themes app. Right now the phone is not connected to the internet so the themes are not available. But there are lots of free themes available which are awesome. Now let's check out the camera. The camera app is quite familiar if you have already used a Xiaomi phone before. There is tap to focus and the tap to focus speed is not very fast but it's fast enough at least for the price. Let's take a look at the picture and the picture came out to be really good. The text is very clear. These are the multiple filters available. You can of course preview the filters before applying them. Lots of filters are there. Let's take a look at the options and these are the options available. Panorama mode, timer, manual mode is there, brightness control and lots of other options like picture quality. Let's set it to high, age and gender detection, sharpness control. 
exposure control, lots of features are there. You can also scan QR codes directly from the app itself. Pocket mode detection is also there. To conclude, I think this is the best budget smartphone under 5000 rupees right now. Even if the price increases to 6000 rupees, it will still be the most competitive smartphone under 6000 rupees. So if you have a tight budget of 7 or 8000 rupees or maybe 6000 rupees, this will be undoubtedly the best choice for you. No other smartphone in this price bracket can match the value for money ratio that this smartphone offers. But if budget is not an issue for you, you should look for a better smartphone than this. There are lots of better smartphones out there obviously. But you can still go for this as a secondary phone. The value for money it offers, no other smartphone in this price bracket can match it. So this is a must buy under 6000 or 5000 Indian rupees. I think this can be one of the best moves that Xiaomi has made for the upcoming 2018 market. So if you wanna buy this phone, the link is down there on the descriptions. Hit the like button if you liked the video. Do comment if you have anything to say. Visit our Facebook page, the link can be found in the description below. So if you want more videos like this, subscribe to Take It Easy and hit the bell icon. So bye guys, thank you for watching the video. Hit that red subscribe button down there.